Amen. We work in to hear him say, well done. So we're talking about elevate foundations and listen to this future hopes. I want to talk a little bit about where we came from and what I hope God does as we look forward for those who gather in this place. As you open the bulletin, Exodus chapter three, verses one through 12 is the story of Moses and God coming to rescue his children out of slavery and captivity and bondage. It is the story of God calling a person to see what he sees, to feel what he feels, and to know what he knows, not just about themselves, it's not just to benefit themselves, but what's going on to some other people who's stuck in a situation right now, you cool, but they ain't. I don't want you to feel like you cool right now if they ain't cool, because they is you. So God gets in a man's business and say, don't be comfortable. Do you see this? I'm bothered by this and I want to come fix this. Come follow me, man. This is God coming to a man to say, I want you to see what I see and feel how I feel, not how you feel. Because you're going to look at people who struggle and say, oh, they better get themselves together. And he's going to look back and say, boy, you didn't get yourself together. It was me that came and got you together. So you needed help. So how you, why you not go help somebody else? Listen to me right quick. Look at me right quick. Just look at me right quick. There is a, a, a island, this is somewhere like off in the Brazil area, some South America, like, this is like 1600s. There was slavery going on. Just basically another village captured some people. And they've been doing this for years, back and forth. And what happened was, there were some men who said, we're tired of this. We're going to go over there and get our peoples back. And so they went over and they got a group of them. And they came back home. And they said, man, but there's still some people over there. And they told the people who just got rescued, listen, bruh, before you come over here and start living like it's all good, you got to make a trip and go back. You got to taste what we had to taste to go back and get somebody. So before you, when you get rescued, part of your acceptance fully back into the place, it's like, well, go home, but get yourself ready. Eat some food, get ready, because you got to go do what's been done for you or else you're going to be selfish. We didn't just come to get you because of you. We got some people that's still over there feeling what you felt. Do you not feel what they feel? Well, come on and get yourself sturdy and get back in the game so you can go help. That's what God says. I'm coming to get you and I, I want you. But it ain't just about you. I'm finna come get you and I want you to get yourself together because there's some other people looking at you. And then God says, really some other people looking at me through you. I can't get my shine on because you're still looking how you looking. You don't want to get like me, and I'm trying to help you. If you get like me, things will work out for you. Did you see Jesus? It worked out for him. Even when the whole world hated him, his father was like, no, you ain't. You will not. About mine, death, uh-uh. Get up, son, let's go. He said, this, you going to have all that on your side. When you line up with me, I want what's best for you. But right now we got a problem because you think you know what's best and I'm saying I know what's best. So we got to make an adjustment. Remember what we've been saying, you better fix your face. Because <laughs> we got to make an adjustment. If you want it my way, I want you to want it my way and it's going to win for you. So he said, I came down here to help you make the adjustment. <laughs> I've seen your struggle. You ready to win? Come on, baby, let's go. Get up and go with me. Exodus 